Hi everyone, this is a recording, a video of how to use the solver to come up with solutions for the maximization problems. Um, you're going to set these up very similar to what you did with the equality problem, systems of equations, with a couple little adjustments, and I want to go over those with you today. Um, you will start by setting up the equation. I've given you the equations over here on the uh, right hand side. The maximization equation is 24x1 plus 36x2. The constraint is that 40x1 plus 80x2 must be less than 560. And the second constraint is that 6x1 plus 8x2 must be less than 72. The other constraints we won't use specifically, uh, except in the options, we'll show that, that they must be positive answers. So we start out and we, we create this scenario here. Um, again, just like we did with the equality equations, we will set up a cell for the end result, and I made those yellow, and I put zeros into each of those. Now in the maximization, this is one of the extra pieces that you have. In the maximization cell for z, I have written the equation for z, which is 24 times c2, which represents the x1 variable, plus 36 times e2, which represents the x2 value. So once you type that equation into that cell, that cell is complete. Then you'll go ahead and you will write in the two halves of the constraint equations, just like you did with the equalities. In here, I wrote um, the equivalent of the first constraint equation, which was equals 40 times C2 plus 80 times E2. Over here in the red, I wrote just the 560, because that represents the right-hand side of the inequality. Down here, I have written in cell B9, I wrote the left side of the inequality, which was 6 times C2 plus 8 times E2. And over here, I put the 72, which represents the right side of the inequality. I just made a note that anything else that you see that is not highlighted are just notes to make it a little bit more clear as to what um, the problem involves. Now the next step, I'm doing this in, in Excel 2007, is to choose the solver. If you're using the solver in earlier versions, it is um, data solver. Now if you don't have the solver, if you don't have from this analysis tab the solver, you're going to want to add the solver to your Excel and those directions are given in the original solver for 2007. You're going to click on solver and you're going to get this screen up. And in here I'm going to put the set the target range which is going to be, and this is very important because you don't have an option here, the set target range is the maximization cell. So look at that, that's C4 here. It's the one where you put the equation for Z, which was 24C2 plus 36 times E2. So be sure you make that choice to begin with or it won't work. This is a maximization. If you're doing a minimization problem, you would select minimization. The cells that we are changing remain the same as the, as the equality ones. We're going to be changing the cell that holds the value for x1 and the cell that holds the value for x2, which are c2 and e2. We're going to then set the constraints, and those are, and I'll just review those with you. Whoops, wait a second. I will, I will review those with you. Let me go back to the solver here. Um, I'll just I'll click on this one and just click change so that you can see what I wrote. B7, this time here instead of choosing equals you're going to leave it as less than or equal to. And in the constraint is D7, which is this point. And then you're going to click add just like you did before with the equality problems. I'm going to click cancel because I have them both in here. Put both constraints in then click the options button, 
the options, make sure you assume a linear model and non-negative results because that was one of your constraints. Click OK and then click Solve. Say OK to keep the solver results and there is your answer. I hope this has been helpful to you in solving. If not, please um, contact your instructor and find out what additional information you might be missing. Thank you.